Playing Candy Crush will make you kill a man. Truth or an incredibly over-sensationalized cold open to a story about video games and violence? You decide. Hey guys, Joe Beretta here, guest hosting for D News. The world of science hath graced us with yet another study concerning the correlation betwixt violence in video games and violence in real life. But stick with me, button mashers, because this isn't your garden variety, violent content does or doesn't beget evil in your impressionable young child type of story. Now, first off, let's all agree that aggression is a very common byproduct of playing video games. It doesn't happen all the time, but it can rear its ugly, hostile head occasionally. Like, I swear to all the gods that if I get blue shelled again because I'm in first place in Mario Kart Wii, I'm gonna murder everything. The game punishes you for being awesome! That doesn't make sense! Moving on. Research coming out of Oxford University postulates that it isn't graphic bloody headshots, spinal cord snaps, or gruesome Koopa Troopa curb stomps that generate aggressive slash violent behavior in players. The root of the evil actually lies in the failure and frustration that a human experiences when gaming. So instead of focusing just on the content and storylines of games, these guys also monitored the psychological side of basically trying to complete a task, which is trying to beat the game or finish a level or get that godforsaken Flappy Bird past the fourth pipe. It's basic human nature to want to succeed and be great at things, and when you're losing over and over and over again, it makes sense that emotions might go all Dante's peak on you. It doesn't matter if you're trying to finish a dude off by ripping him in half in Mortal Kombat or clearing a screen in Minesweeper. If you suck, it sucks. Co-author of the study Richard Ryan explains, when people feel they have no control over the outcome of a game, that leads to aggression. We saw that in our experiments. If you press someone's competencies, they'll become more aggressive, and our effects held up whether the game were violent or not. So these Oxfordians rounded up 600 college-aged humans and scienced them with video game experiments. Utilizing violent and non-violent games, the researchers manipulated the variables like difficulty settings, and in one particular exercise, participants were asked to submerge their hands in super cold water, like painfully cold, guys. Unbeknownst to them, everyone did it for the same amount of time. They then played a round of Tetris, after which they were to assign an amount of time for the next guy or girl to keep their hands submerged. Now get this sadistic little tidbit. Players who experienced the more difficult version of Russian block stacking assigned, on average, 10 seconds more of the chilly hand bath time to the next player. That's crazy! So video games probably won't send you on a murder rampage, but they might turn you into a momentary butthole. One time, I threw my best friend Snake Eyes G.I. Joe at the wall, causing bits of molded plastic to explode everywhere, spewing forth a plume of imagination and nostalgia. It's not because I'm a bad person, it's because I was playing Battletoads. Richard Ryan also goes on to say, when the experience involves threats to our ego, it can cause us to be hostile and mean to others. And really, doesn't this apply to all facets of our existence? No one wants to look stupid or feel inadequate. Those feelings can lead to insecurity or embarrassment or pure unadulterated wrath. That's why we have, in real life, rage-quitting instances of full-grown adults throwing second bases into center field and flying Monopoly boards on family game night. And this one time, I saw my own mother try to bite through the cord of an NES controller because because Super Mario Brothers brought her to a dark, dark place. So guys, what is the most frustrating video game moment you've ever experienced? Describe it with vivid detail down below. Thanks for watching D News. My name's Joe Beretta. You can find me over at youtube.com slash sourcefed or youtube.com slash Have a wonderful, rage-free day.